Thank you for checking out my first video on YouTube. I wanted to go over using Cloudinary to import images using React Hooks and Axios. But what I would suggest doing is going over to Cloudinary.com. I'm assuming at this point you've already created an account, but if you haven't, I would create one now. And then once you get into your account, click on the second tab here for the media libraries, and then go to here where it says settings. You're gonna click upload. Now scroll down here, none of this is important, and you're gonna click add upload preset. What I would suggest doing is I would delete this and I would create a name that you're gonna remember, or I would at least copy this onto a notepad so you don't have to worry about what this was later on because we're gonna need this when we do the Axios post and everything in a little while. And then the sign here, you're gonna to wanna to change this to unsigned from signed and you're going to want to create a folder name and then click on save. Now, when you click on that, you come back to the media center and you have the option of adding a folder, but I would suggest not adding the folder based on the fact that you're going to have the folder created once we turn around and do the Axios post and actually send something up to Cloudinary, it will automatically create the folder for you. Um, so what I would suggest doing here is we are going to go and just create the component. I'm not going to bother going through creating a React app and, and going through all the boilerplate code. I'm assuming if you're looking at this video, you already have your app created. You know how to use hooks and you're familiar with using Axios. So that's what I'm going through as far as this. But here we do have some boilerplate code we need to write, import React. And then, you know, we're going to do the use state here uh, for that hook. And we're going to say from React. And then, of course, we have to import Axios from Axios. And with me, I'm importing, you don't have to do this one. I'm importing uh, the app.css file because I'll have some styling later on. But you don't, it's not necessary at this stage of the game if you don't want to do that. And then I have const. Now I'm calling my functional component settings. Um, you can call your functional component whatever you like, but I'm actually using settings and I want to say return. And we're going to do the div here. And then I have to add in my export default settings or I will forget to do it later. So I'm gonna add that in right now. And now that we got the boilerplate code out of the way, let me make some room here. We're gonna to need to create two constants. The first constant is for the image. Again, we're gonna do set image. We're gonna have that equal to use state. And we're just gonna set it to an empty string. What this will be later on is this image here will be set to the secure URL or the URL, depending on which one you want to use, that comes back from the response of the Axios post. But right now it's just going to stay as an empty string. So then we're going to say const. We're going to say we're going to need loading and set loading. And I'll show you why we need this in a minute. Use state, and we're going to set this to false. Okay, and apparently I added too many spaces here, and that's driving me nuts, so let me fix that. And apparently I like to hit colons today instead of semicolons, so let me fix that. Okay, so we have this set up. We have that set up. Now we're going to put in our input. So we're going to put in input, and we're going to do the, say the type is equal to file. The name is equal to file. And then we're going to have an on change event. On change event. Okay, and that on change event, you can call whatever you want, but with me, it just made more sense to call it upload image. Okay. Close your input. And then we're going to create a ternary expression, which is what we created the loading for. So we're going to say loading. You can call it, you can do, you know, H1, H3, you know, whatever you want. But really, it's just going to say loading, loading. Okay. And that's the whole H1 comment. And then if it's not, if loading is, is not true and loading is set to false, that means we actually have an image. So we're going to say image 
Now I'm using a class name here. You don't need to if you do not wish to, but I just want to make sure I have the I have it set to the right width. So I'm going to say setting the image here, and then I'm going to say the source. And now that source is going to equal the image that we just created up here. So once the Axios post comes back from the response, we're going to set the use the set image to set the image to this either the secure URL or the URL, and then that'll get displayed here in the source. Okay. Now we're going to come down here, and since we created this on change for this upload image, we're going to say const upload image. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to bring in the event because we're going to need that in a minute. Oop, sorry guys, this hit a wrong key. Okay, so we're going to bring in the event and we're going to need two files, two constants. So we're going to say const files is equal to e dot target target dot files at zero index. So let me explain why. When this comes back. Um, when this comes back right here, it, the file it comes back as a file list, and index zero actually contains the file. So that's what we're going to do here, and then we're going to say const form data. Okay, and then we have to do this equal to a new form data. Now look at the way I wrote that. This has to be the way that you see it here, with this first F capitalized. It cannot be camel cased like this. This could be done that way because you could have called this just data, you could have called it form data, you could have called it whatever you wanted to. But this has to be written the way so we could do here, we're going to need to come back now and do form data dot append. And what we're appending to this is the upload preset. Remember we set that up just a minute ago in the Cloud Foundry, uh, Cloud Foundry, sorry, Cloudinary account. Um, what I said, remember the name you're going to give it. So mine was bug tracker one, which is the one I had set up. Okay. And now that that's done, we just have to form data dot append and we got to actually append the file. So we're going to say file <coughs> and then what we're going to do here is I created, we created this variable here file. So we're just going to pass that here into this and then we're going to say set the loading equal to true true okay because at this point it's actually getting loaded we haven't sent anything up to the axios post so then at this point we're going to say axios dot post now what goes in here you are going to need to get from the dashboard on the cloudinary site so when you log into your cloudinary account you're just going to come up with the dashboard you're going to click on where you see more. It has a little down arrow and that's right above the transformation type on the right hand side. And you're going to get the API base URL and you're going to copy and paste it there. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste the one I have, the one that I'm actually using. Yours is going to be different. Now, once you have this, it, most people will go like this and then they'll say form data right now i agree with you this is what i would have actually done and i did do this but this doesn't work for some reason when you try to pass it like this the cloudinary or it just turns around and says that the upload preset is not set and you need to actually set the upload preset in order to be able to uh you know have this thing function correctly so what needs to happen is you just have to pass the form data here. That's it. There's no other real trick to it other than to just pass the form data like that. And then we have a, a dot then because it's going to return a promise. So we're going to say res. Now you might want to say like res dot secure underscore URL, or you might want to just say res dot URL but that's not going to work. What actually needs to happen is it needs to be res.data.secure URL or res.data.url, whichever one you feel more comfortable with using. Um, 
And what you need to do here is you need to set the image. Should I remember that? But we need to set the image to this res.data.secure URL. So now whatever URL comes back from this will get loaded here. And at initialization, it has an empty string. But once we use this set image here, this image will automatically now have the URL uh, associated with it. Okay. And then we're going to uh, take this and do a dot then because we want to set the loading back to false. Okay, and then we want to do a dot catch because God forbid there's an error. We want to make sure we have the error console log so we know what's going on. And at that point, everything else is done that you actually need to write. Let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, so everything is, is done from this point and we should have a fully functional. Oh, what happened here? Line seven of 35, use spot. <laughs> okay, so I misspelled state. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, I'm on the dashboard. I go to settings, I go to choose file, I pick a picture, a very old picture of me. And there you go. So we choose the file, it shows the file name, and because I set a width on this, which is why I had that settings image, I set a width to 200, it shows it here. And now if we go back to the Cloudary website and we go click on our media, see the file, the folder that I told you would be created is created, double click in here, and then there's the picture. So now we can go back and later on, if you want, you can actually take that URL and just display it the way it is, or you can send that URL to the database and then patch the user with that um, with this with this URL location so now when you want to look at their picture and you get their data back in the database it'll actually show this image so I hope to, I helped you guys out and saved you guys a little frustration uh, like I said if you have any questions uh, please put them into the comments if there's anything you'd like me to see uh, you'd like me to create or you know you have any questions on um, please let me know um, anything in react or available javascript or angular um, i'm still working on my back end so i'm not as strong on that but uh, please give me uh, let me know in the comments rather and you know if there's anything i can do i'll be more than happy to help you out